Yeah, so good morning. Thank you so much for letting us be up here and speak. Uh, when Matt asked me to share uh, my discipleship story, I was excited because this is one of the miracles in my life that I want to tell everybody. And God has done so many amazing things, but this particular story just blows my mind. About eight years ago, I sat in a church very similar to this, and I sang all the songs, and I listened to the sermon, but I was a very broken person. And when we would sing songs like about freedom, tears would silently fall down my cheeks. What a lot of people didn't know is that I was a victim of sex trafficking, and I was not okay. And I remember sitting in the pew and I would watch people often. And there was one particular lady that I watched and I saw her heart. I saw the way that she loved on people. I saw the way that she cared and asked personal questions. And so one day I got the courage to share a little bit with her about what I was going through. And I remember when I shared a little bit of my heart, her words to me were, you've told the right person. I'm not gonna leave your side. And first of all, I've never heard that before. But second of all, she stuck with that. And that, it, still to this day, eight years later, she is right by my side, encouraging me, discipling me. But it hasn't been easy. I mean, when she found out the truth of what I was going through, we spent countless hours in police stations, counseling offices. I mean, it was difficult. And really, only the last six months to a year have I truly started to step into freedom that she has been working with me on for so long. But what I know is long before I entered her life, she was already asking God to fill her with people in her life that she could minister to, that she could disciple to. It started long before I came to her God was putting people in her path because she prayed for it. And whenever I came to her and I told her what was going on, I'm pretty sure she probably thought, God, is this what I prayed for? Because this is hard. It was really, really hard. But she followed and obeyed God every step of the way. Anytime she encouraged me, it was because she first was in the Word and then passed that along to me. She read the Word, it entered her heart, and then it was through her lips that she ministered and discipled to me. Eight years now. And I am proud to say that now I am getting to do a ministry that does the exact same thing. Disciples to other survivors of sex trafficking and trauma, I'm getting to do what she has done for me to others. I call her Granny. Everybody calls her Granny from where we're from. And now we have what's called a Granny program where I help other women become grannies who then can disciple survivors. It's been absolutely incredible to think of where I came from, that she went into the pit and got me out. And now together, we get to minister to people. So that's my disciple story. You wanted me to give them an action plan. The action plan that I wanna give you guys is start your morning in prayer, asking God to put people in your path that you can disciple. I have learned recently that your mind, um, your conscious mind thinks like 100 bits of information a second but your subconscious mind thinks millions of bits of information a second. So you have to pull to the conscious mind what you want to see. So when you say out loud to God, I want to see people I can disciple to, I want to be able to help others, put them in my path, you're gonna to start to see it. Now they've been there all along, but now you're gonna to start to see it and you're gonna be able to disciple just like God has called you to.